Alright, you are going people, welcome back to another video. Zim, make big up on yourself, dash up on yourself, and I don't know the thing already. So, today we're gonna be touring around Brooklyn and trying six new food spots. Yeah, we're gonna go in there, eat the food, test it out, and give you guys some feedback on what it tastes like. You know what the ambiance is like. Is it me? What's the price is like? Yes. This is what we're gonna check out, right? The first one is gonna be a brunch spot. It's called Peaches, one of my favorites. And the second one is gonna be a coffee shop, Guevara's. I hope I'm not butchering that, but excited. It's like a coffee plant shop, so that should be fun and cute. And then the last one is like a light brunch. Um, it's called Notchtrand Station, so probably just get some kind of small snacks, some small bites, and see how that is. That was also another recommendation from someone, so. Off the Nordstrom. Nordstrom station. <laughs> Nordstrom. <laughs> <laughs> Not strange. We're going to Ample Hills Creamery. It's an ice yes. cream spot. I feel like that's a fan favorite as well. Like a lot of people have heard of it. Yeah. Really great ice cream spot. In okay, so we're gonna go check out that. We're going to Sisters for dinner. Sisters, yep. I'm I have no clue, but I googled it and it looked nice on the outside. So hopefully it's as good as inside. Yeah, we're Looks going like to Ode to Babel. Ode to Babel, yeah. For happy yes, hour. <laughs> for happy hour and good vibes. So. So I hope we hit all these spots like we promised. We hope we give you guys valuable feedback. So mm -hmm. if you want to do it as well, you can. Yes, me. Pull up yes, and enjoy me. yourself too. Yes. So it's yeah. One o'clock right now. We should have done this earlier, but we're still doing it. Yes. Hopefully we can get through the day. We're behind on time. This is the hungry dance because I'm starving. Me too. All, all right, right, let's go. go. Alright guys, so we have a little bit of delay. I told you something was gonna happen. So basically during our move, we had like the worst possible experience, but our soup of the building really helped us out. So I kept telling him I owe him a drink and he's real serious. He said, okay, I like Johnny Walker Casamigos. So we just ran into him and we're gonna go pick up some a bottle for him. All right guys, so we just arrived at Peach's Hot House in Bed-Stuy. It's super good, it's really well known for its soul food, I would say. And just being a great brunch. So I got the fried catfish sandwich with a side of mac and cheese. And what'd you get, babe? Best chicken sandwich you can get anywhere. <laughs> the best chicken sandwich you can get anywhere. Comes with coleslaw, some other type of garlicky sauce, and then this one. This sauce is really good. So the drink is a frozen watermelon tequila slushy. I don't know if that's the name, but it's really, really refreshing. <laughs> Alright guys, this is not good. I'm already full. <laughs> and it's only the first place. But we're about to hop on to the city bikes and go to our next spot, which is a coffee shop. Stay tuned for our next spot. All right, guys, so we just got two Buena Vadas. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's a super cute coffee and plant shop. Um, yeah, and so we just got some iced coffee. I got the mocha iced coffee, um, and JB got the blackberry lavender, which is like a favorite, and it's super good. Very refreshing. Lighting up the stations, have a mosh. Cinderella, baby, drop the ball with Some of my dogs, yeah, they dogs with all right, guys. So it's four o'clock right now. We're just leaving Guvara. Guvara. No, baby, Guervara. Guervara. I think. I think. I'm just something like that, that, isn't it? Yes. We had our coffee. This makes me feel like I want to shit, but oh wow, TMI. We're enjoying it either way. Yes. It's also honestly turned out to be a great day because it's not raining. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Not too hot. I'm not sweating because if anyone knows me, I'd be getting hot. I'd be sweating. Of all my mega, so. so we're about to leave, head towards the North Nordstrom station. Not not Strand station. Not Strand station. It's about 12 minutes ride on a bicycle. Hey, biker gang. So we're about to head over there now. Yeah, this ah. shirt is from Gucci. Feel me? <laughs> this is a Louis V top. Hey. Light work. You feel me? I got on the Versace shades and the Prada hat. You feel me? Hey. And we out here living lavish, isn't it? Yeah, check out the Balenciagas. <laughs> Guys, I stole Jay's hat. Who wore it better? <laughs> Ooh. Oh Lord. Uh-uh, I can't be seen. <laughs> you out here. 
just off the way that I do Yeah, she love the way that we move So she wanna be in my crew Love the way that you do all right guys, so it's now 4.15. We've only done two stops out of the six. We're behind time. Simone is getting another bike. We're trying to move again. Wanna share a 32 ounce right now? All right, so we're gonna get a 32 ounce. Um, can we have a mix? Or what would you like to Ooh, yeah, let's do that. All right, thank you. So this is the 32 ounce frozen drink and it's a mix of four different liquors. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure which ones. I was just like, oh, four different liquors, great, let's try it out. But it looks good. It looks dangerous. Foggy glasses, all this emotion. Try to tell her, but she probably didn't notice. She say, she ain't got no All right, guys, so we're on our way to... Ample Hills, babe. Ample Hill. Creamer from Nordstrom Street and we decided to walk because every single bike station we got to they were taken or broken so we decided to walk it's an exercise in get our steps in you know so yeah we're walking there now it's about a 20 minutes walk so we'll be there soon Ooh. thought I would told you thought I would tell you oh, wow. yeah English isn't quite <laughs> your strength is it oh oh wow and we're about to get and hit we're by about a to car. kill ourselves because we're vlogging eh the uh, right, the go. challenges of a blogger. We've been eating all the. This is our fourth stop. We didn't realize that we'd be this full, so we went with the kiddies. Uh, is it? This is the strawberry, and Simone got the. What you get? What I always get. The Simone get the cookie and cream thing. So right now I'm about to taste it. Mm. Yes. It's actually good. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a fun. On your shoulder, I say it gets better, girl. I swear, I say I'll take you. That was the ice cream. It was good. The ice cream is top tier. I mean, this street is super cute. I feel like this is also like a cute family place. Like, I would take my kids here to get ice cream. And it has a nice little outdoor area too. I mean, like a lot of different tables. They even have a little turf. But good vibes. Yeah, definitely a cute little spot. So we are approaching Sisters. That's our next stop after Ample Woods. I heard it's beautiful. I heard it's cool. I heard it's a cool ambiance. I heard it's good food. So. About to go check it out. Good food, good vibes, you know how it is. Low your worries away, dandelion. I'm not a girl, I'm telling you. How are you feeling? Um, stop. I think this idea defeated us. But we tried. Yeah, we're at system. This is the fifth spot, and we're struggling to find something to eat. We're struggling. We're struggling. We can't eat any more food, so I think I'm gonna get the start up, maybe some wing. But I can tell you right now, sister's ambiance is probably the best so far. It's a vibe. Definitely unique. They spent time with designing the place to make it what it is. So. Sister's definitely number one in ambiance. Currently, 7.50, but it's almost 8 o'clock. We're still going. Okay guys, so basically at the end of our day, we ended up at Otavapo like we said we would, but we went out and ended up having too much fun. Didn't even come home to finish the video, so now we're doing it a couple days later so that we can give you guys a synopsis of how each place was. So first being Peaches, I thought that it was really great. It's one of my favorite brunch spots in bed -Stuy. Um, in terms of price, it wasn't too pricey, kind of average, like $17 for a chicken sandwich. And yeah, the, the service was terrific. Service there is great. The waiters are lit, they will hook you up, they're so sweet, they're fast, so Peaches was a really great spot to get How brunch. about the taste of the food? 
Oh, the food was phenomenal. The food was really good. I mean, I always get the chicken sandwich. The time, this time I tried the catfish sandwich, which was good, but always, always, always recommend the chicken sandwich. I guess overall, what would you what would you rate it out of 10? I would say... Eight up means you highly recommend it. I would say seven, because it's... Oh, a, so you don't highly recommend it. I mean, I would highly recommend it, but that's like phenomenal everything. And I would say like the ambiance, there wasn't really like music. It wasn't, it's not like a lit like vibe. It's more for the food and for um, the great service. So, you know, it wasn't like, oh my God, amazing, but it's a pretty damn good spot, you know? So seven. All right, so Gravada, that's where we went, second, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, Gravadas. Oh, Gravadas. The ambiance, super cute. Definitely like one of the cutest plant slash coffee shops ever um, that I've been to in Brooklyn. It's good for pictures. Yeah, I super good. Say. Yeah, super good for some Instagram pics, some photo ops. Coffee was really tasty and they have a lot of good um, flavors. So yeah, I would say, I don't know, what would you say overall? Uh, I'm not a big coffee person. I don't visit a lot of coffee spots, so maybe you're the better judge of that. I mean, uh, I'm overall, not even, we both don't really drink coffee like that, but... Overall, I'd say maybe six or seven for the ambiance and, you know, yeah. getting something different, I would say. Yeah, I would say seven for the ambiance in terms of like taking cute pigs, getting... Um, and then the fact that it's like a niche, a cute little unique spot where you can get plants and coffee at the same time. Right. And then after that, we went to... Nordstrom, Nordstrom Station. No Strand, babe. It's No Strand. And that was like a cute little spot to get drinks, I would say. We didn't try the food, but we got some really cool drinks. I feel like it gets lit, like, music-wise. Because there was a DJ there. It was oh, a yeah. setup for a DJ. So it seems more of like a party, brunchish vibe. Mm -hmm. Versus, like, Peaches, which wasn't... There wasn't any music or anything like that, so... Yeah, that's true. And I'm sure, like, later at night, too, it's more of a vibe as well. We kind of went in the middle of the day. Um, but, yeah, the, the music was great, and they had all the games on, so we watched a soccer game. So I think it's a good chill vibe to get to get a drink. We were too full to try the food there. Well, yeah. By the time we got there from Peaches, so we didn't actually try the food. But could not. Yeah, the drink was decent. It was all right. Would I recommend people to go there? How much would I rate it? Yeah. Would you Maybe I'd rate it a six. Okay. I didn't really ex we didn't really experience like the party vibe of it, which I think is a selling factor of it based on what I saw. But yeah, I would give it a six overall. I mean. I wouldn't. I wouldn't die to go about there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Six. I think that's a good. Good way to put it. It wasn't like anything crazy, but it's a good chill vibe if you're in the area and want to get a drink. And then from there we went to Amp Hill Creamery. Yes. What do you think about that? I thought it was really good. I'm. Ve I'm very much so a fan of ice cream, cookies and cream especially. So yeah, I thought that it was. It was. It's. I think it's also like a known thing in New York that Ample Hills Creamery is like a great ice cream spot. So um, it's also great. I feel like it's a good family like ice cream spot to bring your kids. But yeah, so I really enjoyed the ice cream. The ice cream is definitely really good. How much would I rate the tip? I would say like eight. For ice cream spot is like top tier in terms of yeah, and, yeah. ice cream. Oh yeah, yeah, in okay. terms of ice cream and like other ice cream spots I've been to in New York. Okay. Unless you guys have other recommendations, please put them down below in the comment box because like I said, I'm an ice cream girl. And if there's other spots that top that, let me know. Okay, I'll agree with eight as well. And then we left there and went to Sisters. Yes, Sisters, which is in Clinton Hill. Um, what do you think? Sisters ambiance super super cute when you go inside. It's just like really pretty and I also heard at night It's like a place to like, you know go out for drinks. So I'm sure that even at night. It's even better um, Ambiance but, it's definitely the best ambiance of all the places we went to. Yeah, definitely the best ambiance um, in, terms in, terms, in terms of decorations, I would say in terms of food um, it the food was really good. I had Brussels sprouts once again, y'all. We were really full, so we were trying, and the Brussels sprouts were great. Which had some the wings, wings. <laughs> appetizer wings. I think it was really good as well. Yeah, I mean yeah. you can't really go too wrong with wings, anyways. Yeah. So the food was actually good. Everything was pretty good. Um, and they were super nice too because remember they were like they squeezed us in. Yeah. And they we. We, yeah, we're almost like we couldn't get sat, sat down, but we ended up getting sat down. The waiter hooked us up, and yeah, so the service was great, the ambiance was great, the food was pretty good as well. So, I would say, I would highly recommend that place. Yeah, yeah, if you're in that area, I think you wouldn't be disappointed if you went to that restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would say, how much out of 10 would you give it? Seven, seven, I would give it an eight. You can 
I'll you know. give it to eight. Although we didn't try the food, but the ambience and just the decoration of the place, it felt good. Yeah, it did feel like if we drink ambience, and yeah, definitely higher. Right, but right. yeah, better. and then O2 Bubble, that oh, yeah. didn't happen. O2 we showed Babel. up there. No, it night. did happen. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get, oh yeah, so we didn't, Ota Babel was more so for the experience, like we didn't get food, we got drinks there, and then we listened to the music and like, just partied basically that night, so that's why we didn't get to finish our video that night, but it was super fun, I think. Okay, so if you're going out, you know, with your friends, then I think it's definitely a good vibe. Yeah, we didn't really get to like, get the food or drinks or like check out the ambience of the place or anything along that lines, but it appears as if it turns into like a club in the night and that's yeah. what we experience it's oh but it like is a club right scene. No, but it is super small like small. it was very packed and i know that like the line will definitely get long we got there er very early because we thought we were going to do a little review get the food sit down but then when we got there we actually had to wait in line for just a little bit but it got super packed by the end of the night um but then that's a good sign that means that you know everyone wants to be there everyone thinks it's lit yeah. um and they have a little outdoor patio too it's super small but it's a nice touch to it. Yeah, so if you're looking for a night out, maybe O2 Bubble is a spot. Probably. You might yeah. like it. Well, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Um, you know, put down in the comments if you recommend any other spots or if you agree so, with some of our reviews. And if you've been there, we'd love to hear from you. Like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, all right. We out.